Hello everyone and welcome to Secret and Girly Creates. Today's episode is a bit different. It's all about my weekend away meeting my friend Christine for the very first time in person and the fabric adventures that we got up to in Birmingham which also included meeting some other lovely people. Let's go and get started. <music> Hello everyone, today is Friday? Yes, it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> um, we've had a day, well, it's not finished yet, but we've had a day where we've been to Birmingham this morning, we've been to the rag market, we've been to Barry's, is it the silk? The silk store. The silk store, we've had lunch, we've seen Adele and Bex, and we thought we would show you what we've got before the Giffrey and Garney event tonight. <laughs> yeah, just so that it doesn't look like we've bought shed loads of fabric because we have. <laughs> Full disclosure, this was something we've been waiting for and we have we knew we were going to buy fabric. <laughs> this wasn't an accident. No, do you want to go first? Okay, right. So Take turns. Yeah, we'll try, I'll try and remember where I got things from as well. So Christine and I both got this one, didn't we? Ah, oh, yes. So we both bought this. This is from the Silk. Ta -da! And it's a stretch uh, sat cotton sateen. Um, we finished the roll, didn't we? Yes, we bought <laughs> out the store with this yeah. one, so it's and obviously it's, popular. It's got a nice bit of stretch to it. We have no yeah, idea what we're going to make, but it's a colour that works yeah. for both of us. Um, so we'll keep you posted on what we're doing with that. Yeah, maybe Christine, a collab on the horizon. We yeah. will see. Christine was quite reserved in there, and so was I. I think you only bought one other thing in the, in the yeah. silk store. Yeah, I did. I bought this, which is a cotton lawn. I have to say, their yeah. selection of cotton lawns is one of the best I've ever seen. There's probably about 30 different rolls, wasn't there? Yeah, and it's really good quality. Yeah, and it was 7 99 which I think for the quality of this, it's got a really lovely smooth feel. I think that suits me. Yeah, I think it does, yeah. <laughs> so I'm very no, happy with that. And I said to Christine, I'm buying less than I need for a dress because it'll make me make a top with it as well. So I did. Um, and what else did you, what did you get in the there? So I got some denim. If anybody's been watching me, I've been making jeggings and the Eleanor jeggings from Jarley Patterns are a win-win for me. So I've got some light blue stretch denim to make a spring pair, maybe a cropped pair. Good idea. So that's the denim from the Silk Store. So I think my review of the Silk Store would be, they've got a lot of choice, but it's really well organised. It was. It's yeah. stacked to the rafters, but fabric. But supremely organised stack. Because yeah. I've been in other shops that have got that much fabric and you've got to like constantly move things all the time. And you can't. You can look up and see it all. You could see everything yeah. that they had. They had an amazing selection of suiting, of coat fabrics. The silks um, upstairs. If, if you're you... making an, an outfit for a party or one of the like frock towels or anything like that, the choice is phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's definitely short and the price is really range. So you get things from like four ninety five right up to Ooh. like eighteen, twenty pounds. I think you More. found yeah. <laughs> we both found some. I found the most like, expensive yeah. fabric in the shop, I think. <laughs> so it's definitely a shop worth visiting. It's a good range. Even like basics like there was loads of plain colours of jerseys. There was like lots of linens, wasn't there? Like just nice yeah. ranges. Yes. So it's a shop that is well stocked with a good variety of fabric, I thought. So. We went in twice, so we must have liked it. <laughs> <laughs> but this was the kind of shop where we didn't see that purple one the first time, did we? No, so. no. Right, should we do market or Barry's next? Uh, market. Right, so market was where we went first. We got to Birmingham about half nine. Something like that, So yeah. some of the, the rag market stalls were still opening, but we could see whether they were fabric ones behind or not. Mm. But the parking was easy. We waited till after rush hour, so the traffic wasn't too bad. A little bit sticky, but not too bad. That was okay. And it was nice and quiet, so we didn't feel like we were getting jostled or anything like that. And by the time we had lunch, things did look a lot busier, didn't they? Yes. The, if you've not been to Birmingham, what I would say about the rag market is you've got some of it undercover, with other market stalls and then there's the open market outside where we found some serious bargains serious bargains yes. and i think they're probably only there when they've got stuff in and they don't go when yeah, they have because there was some stalls that didn't have anything on yeah them, so it's a bit hit and miss but worth so the outside journey. is like potluck inside they seem to have their stalls set up all the time yeah. so yeah. they're more consistent 
Um, so outside they were selling fabric for like 50p, £1.50. So if you can't see the price, don't be afraid to ask. And also say no thank you if you don't like it. So we've got this, haven't we? Oh. We're going to share this. <laughs> oh, it's purple again. Um, it's a French terry, we think. Mm. It's got Super sparkly soft. stars. Oh, oh I didn't sparkly. know that. Let's get it close. Get yeah, it's sparkly stars. Oh, so we're going to halve that. this. It's about four metres here. Yes, so we're going to go half something. And it was £1.50 a metre. <laughs> the French terry. Yeah. So Cotton French I, and it really outside, got some of it was in piles and people were just digging through it as well. Uh, yeah, you've got to like, be prepared yeah. to have a good rummage, and if you're not a rummager, it's you're going to miss out. For you, but you're gonna no, miss no, out. but you're going to miss out. Yeah, for and sure. I, and I also got this. So don't. Some of it's in rolls, some of it's in piles on the floor. This yeah. was hanging like displayed, yeah. and he was quite happy for us to pull it down. Just and pull it down just, and buy it. Yeah. So I got this one, which is. It's probably a bit more green in real life. It's going to be very blue on there, isn't it? What this are you going to make with that? It's going to be a dress. Is It'll it either be a twist run or a seasons of ease. Yeah. This is one it's of those nice. easy put on dresses, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that you, you like. Know, that I love. These are perfect for work because I just stick on like a, a pink necklace or something and then I'm good mm. to go. So uh, yeah, nice jersey, nice stretch to that. And it's nice to be able to feel them because obviously at £1.50 you can't be sure of the quality, but you can feel no. them. Yeah. And no. you're not ordering it online, it's turning up and being disappointed. Yeah. Because you're there. I love shopping fabric live and I wish I could do more of it. Right. You get, oh, you got some cows outside, didn't you? Yes, I got some olive green. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, olive green. That's a stretch velvet with a, cr it's a crushed velvet, isn't it? That's Bit so nice. Bit of stretch. Was that £1.50 a metre? Yeah. Yeah. So you can't not buy it. Can't not buy it. And, and, it. and it's a bit like I've been saying is if you if you've not made something before, this could end up becoming a wearable, but it's not the end of the world if no. it's your practice piece. No. And you've I've got, got so big plans for this fabric, to be fair, even though it was only one pound fifty. It doesn't have to be a twelve. No. And I'm hoping it's not going to be. I'm thinking of the Porsche dress. Oh yeah, that would be so nice. We'll see. That might be later yeah. in the year because we're coming into spring now, aren't we? <laughs> she says the sun's shining outside, so we yeah. must be. So I also got this. This was one fifty a metre as well. Yes, it's another jersey. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, but nice stretch. This I thought would make an, another just nice everyday dress. It's really nice. Quality. Really nice. It's really soft, isn't it? Yeah, I've um, had fabric like this before, and where it's the tie dye print, it's been printed on the surface and made it feel really mm. cardboardy. But, but this, this doesn't. Is a, no. it, it's been. Yeah. Is it the same on both? Oh no, it's black no. on the back, but it, it's been printed in, in yeah, a way. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't like it doesn't disappear when you stretch no, it. No, no, so it's really nice. This I know, like I've got the other one, but these are perfect everyday dresses when I'm going out yeah. on school visits, things like that. Um, so yeah, I know this. Will, what I'll what this up in an afternoon. <laughs> As you do. As you do. Now we've got another fabric that's the same, Sam, didn't we? Oh, yes, yeah. A bit matchy matchy in the purple. I'll do the other side if you want. Oh, go on then. So it's because a double sided. It's a double gauze, this. And that's what you get. So we thought this was brilliant. And I'm loving it. It's, it's nice and sort of nice handle it's to really it. Really floaty. So I was saying like a Charlie Caftan where you did like some bits in oh, that yeah. and some bits in that. Some bits that way. Yeah. It's a nice fabric. How much did we get? I can't remember. I got three. Oh, I must, have, I I must have done them. Yeah, I did because get three. Because three is perfect when you're making a dress. I did get three because I didn't know what sort and this of dress was I was making three, with these it. These were £3 a metre. This was off a guy's store. Almost yeah, three everything pound, on his store. £3 a metre for cotton yeah. double gauze. That's so reversible. That is in my pile for my mission to find my go-to summer dress. Because okay. that's my mission for this year. Well, the same store, I got... Um, a crushed velvet it's like a, a minty green and i said i was gonna make a shroco didn't i mm. we, we tried while we were shopping to say what would we make what with am this. i going to make with it yeah didn't do it for everything but no most you know, things most things because let's be fair there were fabrics i kept going oh, look at that look at that but i didn't yeah, get them then, did I? no because one, we're, we're transitioning into a new season mm. shortly, so you don't end up with a load of fabric that you're not going to use until next winter. And I saw a lot Well, like I that. don't, anyway. Yeah, yeah. And, and also, like that one, the amazing one with like the, the sort of like 
sort of feathery bits on the ends of it. Oh, wow. It was fabulous, oh. but I was like, I, I, I could You should have videoed that, and you I didn't do it. Yeah. We've been very rubbish today, okay? <laughs> video <laughs> it's But I was saying, that even though I could think what to make with it, it would then just sit in my wardrobe. And this mm. I know, if I make You'll a shirok about this, I'll wear this. I'm the kind of person that I would wear that, like I would have worn this today, because I've got my Scirocco on here. I know, it's got um, a very ha This is so snuggly. I would happily wear that, just like with this roll neck underneath, like that. Yeah, because you're going to make it with yeah, sleeveless, sleeveless, aren't you, like this yeah. one, which I think is a really good take on the Scirocco by not putting the sleeves in. Yeah, I like I that think it very works. much. And, and so this, just a Scirocco, crushed velvet, you know, I'm living my 80s jumpsuit dreams, really, am I? <laughs> That pile's getting very high there, Sam. Yeah, you no, can't see it, but it's about this high. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got one more thing. And did oh. you get one more thing at the market? No. I, no, I was obviously more restrained than you were. You did get something else at the market. What, what did you get? Oh, Christine finds what she got at the market. Oh, so God, I, yeah. So Take I, it back. I'm rubbish. I got a purple ponty. So it's two-way stretch, really good stretch, and a nice recovery. Because anyone who's watched my um, recent ones, I've been making like the Walt Boldly wide leg trousers, yeah, like the Onyx um, ones, which are like a slim leg. So I was really, mindset was on Ponty. I kept saying about mm. Ponty. Yeah. And this and is a nice that is purple, nice. three pound metre. It's nice quality. Um, it's got this glitter on for my like something else. That's something else. I don't know if you, oh yeah, look, you can see it there. That's not part of the print, <laughs> that's been shedding. Although I don't mind glitter. I'm going to say um, that's a shame with a bit of sparkle <laughs> to it. It looks well, amazing. We'll have to check it. Maybe. It, no, I don't know. No, it, it is isn't. It's come off something else. <laughs> but this will make a perfect trouser. Um, and it means then that, that other pattern things that I'm making to tops, I can wear with this. I'm trying. I'm trying yeah, to have are. some planes yes. to go with my pants. Yes, you do so well. Was, apart from like some threads and some trim. That was my fabrics done. She yeah, says the only other thing that Sam is right, I did get something else. And I don't think we're going to do it justice just because of no. the large scale of the pattern. Look at that. Oh, thanks, Sam. Look there we that. go. Wow, it is just gorgeous. I don't you, know what I'm going to make Christine, with this. you need to say you're gorgeous, as you oh, say. Oh, is that it? It's gorgeous. <laughs> But that's so like you could easily put that on with like a sandal when in the summer in an evening when yeah. out for a meal, but in the winter with a black roll neck. Yeah. So yeah. give me some ideas, guys. What can I make this up yeah, in? That is it's lovely. not stretch. No. It's it, like a viscose weight. But it's got really nice straight. I think I'm having fabric envy. Take it oh, away yeah. from me. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's gone. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll be making you take me back there. <laughs> right. We got some trims. We got some. Uh, Oh, fabric, uh, some thread. It's oh, definitely worth looking. Gloves. The prices on the stools really vary from the price of thread. I think we found the best one. These were 50p, weren't they? Yeah. Moon thread, 50p. So we've both got yeah. some, some cottons. But you can't have any bobbins of cottons, can you? And then we both I got, got sewing needles, hand sewing needles, because I can never find them. So I've got loads of those now for a pound. Nice trim. We were pretty reserved on the trim, Ooh, weren't we? Does that look reserved? <laughs> <laughs> but what I mean I is I straight a lot of trim. Sparkly trim. I mean, I only got two, which for me is reserved. I just got so. that one thing. I was thinking yeah, like that would look perfect down the neckline one. of a summer dress. So, yeah. Yeah. I've got trim envy now. Mine looks pretty. <laughs> yeah. Compared to Sam's. But, you know. But then it didn't stop there, did it? Because we went with no. Bex and Adele to Barry. Yes, we met. We went for lunch. And while we were having a lovely lunch in Browns, uh, Bex and Adele turned up. So they bobbed over, had a nice drink with us. We met them for the... Well, I met them for the first time. Me too. First yeah, time. My first time yeah. So we all met up together. I think Adele has taken some photos. So if we can get yeah. them off, but we'll be bobbing these in so you yeah. can see us all together. And we went to this back to the silk store, didn't yeah. we? Had to have another look. Bex had never been in there, had she? No, I yeah. found that quite yeah. strange. Mm. The number of times she's been to Birmingham. And then we all headed over to Barry's. They're Barry's pros, aren't they? So they, they know how it's all organised. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it um, was like a military operation. And Adele knew what she wanted. She knew yeah. where to look for what she wanted. Yeah. We enjoyed having a browse because obviously we've not been yeah. before. Yeah. Barry's again, really good coating fabric selection. They had loads, didn't loads, they? Loads, really good quality. And again, good range of prices, I felt. Mm. There's something sort of everyone's yeah. pocket. Yes. They had a really good selection of like 
dance wear slash like like workout wear as well. Wasn't they did, it? yeah. 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 So of, if you're into something yeah. like that. And then it's lots and lots of like planes, like all the crepes and that sort of thing. Yeah. If you want linings or plain things. And then, of course, we, there was the bargain bit, which is good. We didn't choose anything, but there was no, a good bargain Yeah, there was some that were a pound a metre and some that were two pound a metre yeah. in the bargain bit. And then there was all the stretch and the ponties, so that was my yeah. zone, wasn't yeah. it? <laughs> yes. Oh, and lots of flannel as well. They had loads of check, yeah. loads of different, uh, with different, out of different fabric types. There was yeah. cotton check, there was brushed cotton, there was there was all sorts of mm. there. And so, you did you did say you'd fabric peaked, didn't you? And actually, yeah, I wasn't going to buy anything. I know. I felt like I was fabriced out. <laughs> I really did. Yeah. Bear in mind, it was about what two o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. and we've been looking at fabric and thinking for what we'd already bought <laughs> since half past nine. <laughs> apart from the short break for yeah. lunch, I just felt like I couldn't look at any more fabric. But I pulled round <laughs> and I managed. She came round. I yeah. managed to get some stuff. <laughs> You, you, but, but, I revived you, myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I was pretty, I was pretty good, wasn't I? And yes. Bex was like, "What are you doing? Why are you so calm about this?" And and I went straight to the ponties, straight to the planes, and um, and I might, I got three. You'll be proud of me. Three planes. They're all a varying type of like scuba or ponty. This is like a lovely texture. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's got a crepey look on yeah, it, hasn't it? But great stretch. And then this is That's almost quite same, like, Yeah. And then a plane. This is as close as I've been able to find today to a forest green ponty, which is what I kept going on about wanting. That's showing that's up much nice darker colour. on Twitter. It's like a bottle green. It I is bottle say. green, yeah. Um, and that's a lovely weight for like a. I was thinking the onyx pants in this. Yeah, they were um, perfect. So nice that. stretch, just two way stretch, but plenty there. And all of these with good stretch. So I thought that was pretty impressive considering how much there was Is in that the all shop. You got? Well, <laughs> well, I don't know if I was queuing to get them cut. You know how like fabrics get jabbed in sometimes and you can't yeah, see them? Yeah, you just can't quite like, see the, the beauty of them. I was stood waiting to cut and I went, what's that? So Bex helped me find it from the other side. How could I not? It's so you, Sam. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. So I was very reserved. Really? Got a metre and a half or two metres. Is that all you got? Yeah. yeah, because I also make a dress and I need to not make a dress. I thought it would just yeah. make a nice top. Yes. To wear exactly. with any of these trousers, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> you know? but nice little cord going yeah, on there. Yeah. So it, it's a bit like a knit, isn't it? But I don't know how yeah. I would describe this. It is a knit. But it's... So it's got, so it's not two. A, oh, it's got two way stretch with a tiny bit the other way. Yeah, but it's so not it's just the nice, it's it's a nice, nice knit fabric. Yeah. And then I also got the fabric like that a lovely all, Nico top that. Oh yeah, but I got the fabric that almost all of us got seventy five percent. Not us me. <laughs> Steve decided to be the maverick here. It's a French terry, but that's a nice spring French terry, isn't it? I was thinking a Marley cardigan. Oh, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday. I've got tomorrow. till lunchtime tomorrow, and I might be going back to Barry's. I, Watch this space. I think. <laughs> but that is now. Nice. Marley. Do you know what? Yeah. Marley to wear like over some of these dresses. Like, look at it over that dress. Look. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one as well over that. Look. And I just wouldn't listen to them. All three of them said I should buy it. And I said, no, why? It's not my colour. Because look, it just... I think it is. Do you? Yeah. Mm. But with, like, if you had that on with, like, the purple, like this, look. Here we go that, now. Look, with that, in the spring, when you need a little something over the top. Look yeah. at that, there. I think you missed out there. There's loads on the roll, though. There was. We can always and it's back. kind of on my way home. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah. really. so seventy-five percent of us got this. Possibly a hundred percent if uh, Christine changes her mind before she goes home. No, so, I'm okay. Yeah, Bex and Adele have got this as well, and you can play with the direction. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what? it'd make a good? Pony go go <laughs> It would actually, <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah. They've got sick of me mentioning the pole goal party today. Look, oh, I'm play, so excited. If we play the drinking game, I'd be drunk on the floor by now. The amount of times Chris even said the word pogo <laughs> nip. 
slipped it into conversation. Yeah. So come on, Christine, what did you get in the end after not getting well, anything? Well, after I had myself, I got a few. So I've had this fabric before, I think, from Guthrie and Garnet a long time ago. And it's a denim with a copper. That's nice. It's like yeah. a rose gold stripe in it. I'm not sure it's coming up true to form on there, but... Yeah, I bought this to make myself a pair of Mitchell trousers mm. because I made some last spring and I made them in a linen and the linen was quite stiff so it didn't So that drape. fold at the side. Yeah, yeah. it didn't drape. It, they, I just feel like they're like that and when I walk they don't move. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're a bit That's, cardboardy so I've got this. That, that'd be nice, yeah. It's like a chambray, isn't it? It is. It's yeah. a lightweight denim so Mitchell's. Good Definitely choice. know what I'm making with that. Yeah. And then I've just got two other fabrics. See, I was reserved. And I got them to go together. It's a bit Barbie for this. You know, like the outfit which goes into the real world. He's putting me off it now. <laughs> hey, that's not meant to pick you up. <laughs> Do you know, don't you love your friends sometimes? <laughs> I've got this Barbie fabric, apparently. <laughs> it's nice, it's quite Western looking. That's what yeah, I mean. Yeah. Well, it depends what you make with it, honey. Yeah. Watch this space. <laughs> See, I really like this one. I think this would make a nice pair of the sepia pants, like a summer trouser. I don't think it's thick enough. It's very thin. I made, this is like the thickness that I made my checked ones in there. Is it? When you want like a cool summer yeah, trouser. Yeah, maybe, maybe. What, we'll you have think, a what are you thinking? Are you not sure? I'm, no, I'm no idea now. Mm. All I can think is Barbie now. <laughs> <laughs> I want a full western outfit with the blue denim yeah. down there and the cowgirl hat. <laughs> Right, watch this space. Yeah. You're going to be amazed. Well, Kirsten, we know who's got the biggest pile. I think Sam's one, hands down. <laughs> oh, don't get half of that one down there is yours. Okay. So, yeah. But we've got to go to Guthrie and Garney's yeah. event this evening. So we'll try and put some footage in. We'll try and take yeah, some footage. Yeah, it might be a bit busy yeah. though. We'll just have to see, won't we? We'll see. But we'll tell you about it anyway, don't worry. And we might see some of you there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that'd be weird. Like, we're saying we're going to see you there, but you'll have seen us there by the time oh, we yeah. this on. We might have seen you there. Yeah. If we did, <laughs> sure it was, if we did and we didn't say hi, it was lovely to meet you. <laughs> so, we're going to go <laughs> now, because right, somehow now. I've got to fold this all back up, which is now yeah, massive mountain on the floor. I know. We need that? to get ourselves in the right place for going out. We've got no idea what tonight's going to be like, have we? No. So, but we won't worry if we don't buy anything, because we've got plenty already. No. But I think we might be a bit reserved at this sample sale tonight. It's, it's, it's quite knows? unknown. Isn't who knows? It? It's a one-off yeah. event, so if it's there and you want it, you've got to buy it, haven't you? That's my view anyway. I agree. I'm turning into Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Adele. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Adele shares the bin bag she got. <laughs> I'm sure she'll tell you all about her We're bin saying bag. nothing yeah. else about the bin bag. <laughs> well, we're going to go now, but... We'll be back on here in about 10 seconds for whatever comes next. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so what you've just seen is the uh, vlog that Christine and I did about our shopping at the Rag Market and Barry's. Now, what I'm going to tell you about is that evening, what happened in the evening. Um, and what I got with me and Garney. So after we went to Barry's, I went back and had a chill. We got changed and headed off towards Mosley where we parked and went and met the lovely Bex from What Bex Sews and Adele from Sew for Serenity in a restaurant to have some dinner before the Guthrie and Garney event. The lovely Ruth of Seamstressed Ruth appeared with a lovely lady called Donna as well. And hello to, I think it's Jill, a lady who came up and said hello to us, um, who'd left a comment on my channel. So hello, because she came and said hello to us as well. Um, we had a nice bite to eat and then walked at couple of minutes up the road to the Guthrie and Garney shop. Now I've never been to Guthrie and Garney before so it was nice to have a chance to go to the event but then also go downstairs where you could just have a good look and a mooch and a, a shop in the, the general shop as well. So it was quite busy. Tickets were sold out and so upstairs for the event was all this sort of apparel wear but it wasn't like waterproof. See there was 
corduroy, twill, moleskin, and they'd laid it out by colour. So it was um, like all the oranges and purples was where I set off to. There was a few plaids there as well, but this was like a sample sale. So I had a good look around. Some people were picking up a big stash, but you know that I've been working a lot on my having planes in my wardrobe, like my stash. So I didn't need a huge amount of planes. So I, I was very wise and I just picked up the one piece, which was coming out the bag, which was this. So it's a lovely sort of it's like a tangerine sort of corally orange sort of thick corporate. It's not jumbo, but it's thick. I got 2.8 metres of that. So it was all pre-cut sizes. So you had to look very carefully to find what it was. I thought this would make an amazing jacket to wear with lots of my purples and things underneath. And I was having a look and going, yep, yeah, this is a colour for me. So I grabbed that, but apart from that, I didn't get anything else upstairs. Christine did and if you hop over to her vlog version of this, you'll see what she got upstairs. And Ruth bought a nice little stack of things as well. So it was great to have a look and see these really good quality fabrics. But I tried to think, what would I make with it before I picked it up and just bought it? Because I don't really need things in my stash like of that weight for like just random. So then headed downstairs. They had like um, Prosecco and alcohol-free drinks on offer. And it was nice just to chat to people, so hello to people that I saw there. And I've never been to the shop, so it was really nice to have a look around. I had a huge rummage in the many uh, remnant slash bolt end baskets, and there's like drawers and everything with them. And I was having a good look. I had a good look at the fabric as well. In my usual style, I was looking at the sale fabrics. They have a really nice selection of really good quality fabrics in the shop. If you've not been, it's definitely a shop I would say is worth going to. Uh, lovely Lauren who runs it was there. She was serving everybody and was there. Um, <clears throat> Bex and Adele were having a good shop around and Christine too. Um, we had a good chat with people who um, were using what they wanted. So I thought I did pretty well. I found this remnant. So it's 90 centimetres by 148. It is a French terry. And I got this for uh, £12, but it has got a hole at 20 centimetres. But that's fine because <clears throat> um, I can easily turn this into something with black sweat shirting. A bit like this mile end here, I could easily do that with this. Um, but to be honest, I might even get there to get everything except the sleeves out of this anyway. It's a lovely sort of terracotta colour. But this was like a good colour out here as well. But with the black, I'm trying to even see the hole. It says it's at 20 centimetres. I'm not sure I can even see it. Oh, there it is. It's teeny. Oh, no, there's a little one there, but there's that. That's okay because it's easy to um, just cut round that. So this is, uh, oh, it's a Poppy one again. Rain of Dots, designed by Poppy Europe. I keep coming across this Poppy Europe now. It's got a nice stretch to this Terry as well, four-way stretch. So yeah, I thought it was a great little find. I did look at a striped one as well, but I enjoyed looking in the remnants. And then I didn't see anything else because obviously we'd had a big shop up in the morning and I'm trying really hard when I buy the majority of things, think what will I make with this? Um, I don't do it with everything because sometimes you just see something, but I am. And also one of the other things I've been doing is not buying enough to bake a dress to make me make a top with things. So Christine was then in the queue. She'd found some gorgeous fabric. And while she was in the queue, she then spotted another one, which I got down for her. And we were chatting to people and people choosing things. And then we were stood in the queue for a good while. And under the cutting table, I saw a lot of fabrics. And I was having a little search. And... Let's be clear, by this point, I, I hadn't seen anything. And then I found this. It's It feels a bit linen-y, but not that scrunchiness. But it's like a viscous <coughs> linen, but it's got stretch. Look at that. So I only got a metre and a half because I thought if I get a metre and a half, I'll have to make a top. I can't make a dress. So I'm definitely going to make that into a top as soon as I can. I'd love suggestions. If you've got any ideas for a top, do tell me. I thought this would go really well with the trousers that 
fabric that I bought in the morning in Barry's. So those blue ones, the green ones and the rust ones. I thought all three of those would work really well with this and would look lovely with this jacket over the top. It's like everything I bought in that bit was like all worked together. So this was a sale piece, so it had 20% off the original price. So it was originally 13.50 a metre, but I, I got it for 16, did I? Yeah, 16 pounds, which I think is good. But I also found, thank you to Adele, who pointed me at these, these labels and look what they say hacked and you all know how much i love a hack so i couldn't not get those labels i wasn't planning to they are kylie and the machine labels let's open them up but good old adele spotted these and she's bang on like this is what i need oh they're perfect look so there's a good section i think i got 10 so um perfect label that was what I got in Guthrie and Garnet. If I hadn't bought lots in the morning or I hadn't recently been, recently been stocking up on sweatshirts and things, I might have got a few bits. But because I'd already got um, the things from Felicity Fabrics that I showed you last time, I, I just was really conscious to only get things that I would either sew up or that um, were different to what I had. And also I have a plan already. So I had a really fantastic time. I loved spending time with Christine. I get on as well with her in real life as we've done um, virtually. I loved meeting Bex, Adele, Donna, um, people who said hello, this lovely lady called Claire. Hello Claire, said hello to us at the shop as well. So it's just, it was like a, a wonderful time of seeing people that I haven't met before or um, have talked to lots but not seen in person. It was lovely just to hang out with people, look and touch fabric. So I think I've talked about this before, the difference between touching fabric than ordering it online is massive. And Christine and I have made some plans of things to come this year. So it was just a really sort of, it was like a nice reset because We've thought about what we want to do together, what uh, uh, challenges we want to do, because obviously we've done things in the past, so lots of plans coming. It made me think about how much I love buying fabric in person. And I know, I, I can't remember the lady's name, but a lovely lady said she'd love to go to the rag market, but it's odd going on her own. So next time I go, I'm going to give you all notice so that if you want to come, you can come and meet me there. Isn't it? And I fell asleep last night planning what to make with each of my fabrics that I got, which I'm incredibly proud of because I don't want to stash them away and forget about them. So the rest of my weekend, while you're watching this and wondering what I've been up to, will be me starting to cut them out because... I want to enjoy wearing the things, not all, but lots of them. I would love your suggestion for tops for the fabric I've showed you or any other ideas for any of the fabric, please do tell me. I will be back soon to tell you about the Pogo Nip Party because that is being launched on the 1st of February. And obviously I'll be back soon to share with you some of the things I've been making. At the end of today's episode, if you hang in there, there'll be a few pictures and snaps from what we got up to, including what I ate at one of the things. And to tell you what I'm wearing, I am wearing the full combo of joggers and jumper in this outfit. I drove home on it. It was super comfy and joyful. So this was my first ever Mile End sweatshirt. And the trousers are Tilly in the Button Stella joggers. I'll put a picture in here of the full outfit. And I also wore during the day to walk around Birmingham, my Shroco. I'll put a picture in of that here. In the evening, I wore my green jersey dress that I've made. Um, I didn't get a picture of that, but if you haven't, do hop over to Instagram because there's a picture there. Well, I can put a picture in of what it looks like. You, if you've watched previous episodes, you will have seen it because I only recently made it. It was perfect. Um, I really like making those dresses and I'm thinking about making one of the fabrics and the rag market into that dress as well. But I'm always here if you want to reach out for a chat and thank you to lots of people who messaged me over the last few days. I really love it. I'm off now as well to make sure I reply to people about the Southern Social because uh, places are mostly filling up and I must reply to people. So if you haven't had a reply, it's coming your way really soon and I'll catch you soon. Bye.